So before I start this video, I just want to preface it with I in no way hate Aspen as a hero or like I, I don't hate people who use Aspen or love him or anything like that. Um, I just think he's a little bit overrated and gets a little too much credit and I, I just I don't think he's a must have hero. So um, yeah, and this game is about fun. So you play the heroes that you love to play and have fun with. Just just remember that, okay? So let's go ahead and start the video. What's up YouTube? Brownie here coming to you with another video. And today's video is going to be a little bit controversial, I think. Um, I have an opinion that I don't think a lot of people share with me, but there I know some people do. And... Yeah, I just, I, I want to talk about it because I I think the player base overrates Aspen by so much. that He is just such an overrated hero that, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I think I needed to make a video about it because he's just, he's good at one thing, and that's boss damage and star expedition. Um... Yeah, he can kill the Void boss pretty quickly, but he struggles with the minions a ton. And this is like, you know, Divine Power 12 Aspens and Divine Power 11 Aspens and stuff like that. People who have Temple Level 10. Um, I, I have Temple Level 7, so keep that in mind when you um, see like what game modes I have completed and all that kind of stuff, because... I am competing just fine with all the Temple Level 10 players, all the huge whales, you know, people that have accounts filled with S tiers and A tiers. Now I can't really compete in PvP against those kind of players, but I'm right up there on the leaderboard in, I almost, I, well, pretty much almost every game mode. So, um, yeah, and I only have an S tier Machman. Everything else is B tiers. Yeah, I, I do have this A minus Yormtum, but... He is a very recent uh, grab, and I haven't used him for anything yet, except for to make one video. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he'll, he'll probably be here soon, Destiny upgraded, and I'll be able to test him out. But anyway, back to the video. Um, what I want to preface the video f with first is, this is an opinion I have about mid-game and late-game um, accounts. Because, and what I consider mid-game is a, an account that has at least six Transcendence heroes. So a full Transcendence team. And I guess you know, late game would be when you're like Destiny upgrading them and getting Tenants Destiny upgraded, stuff like that. Uh, I guess a mid-game account could be considered sort of late game if uh, you know they've super invested in their treasure train and all those kinds of things. But... Uh, yeah, that that was that's pretty much what I consider a mid to late game. So, yeah, Aspen, Aspen, Aspen. All right, let's talk about problems I have with Aspen, and I guess we can start with his tenants. And I know you're probably saying his tenants, his tenants are freaking amazing. It's Queen and Elena, but one problem I have with that is. You don't really want to have Queen as a tenant. You want Queen to be a homeowner so that you can easily have her outspeed your damage dealer and put out double cor abyssal corruption on the enemies, things like that. It just makes it 20 times easier if you don't need to have Queen in um, as your tenant. So, so there's that, and that's really probably the only issue I have with his tenants because they are they are good solid tenants. Um, early game, you know, you really those three heroes can really really support each other. But we're not talking about early game. We're talking about mid to late game. And yeah, for that reason, I I don't like having. I wouldn't want to have Queen in as a tenant. And Mockman, you'd you'd have to build us another completely separate transcendence hero. Put investments into him. And your then your your team isn't going to have those resources if your tenants aren't on your team. So um, late 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 game, yeah, you can do that. You can make tenants that aren't even on the team, and you can put resources in them because you have all those extra resources. But 
yeah, that's that's I guess the main issue I have with um, Aspen's tenants. Now, another issue I don't or that I have I guess with with Aspen is the fact that he's a single target damage dealer. Like, yeah, that's amazing for Star Expedition, but. He, the only way you get AOE damage is if you overkill uh, an enemy, and there's a few ways that Aspen can kill an enemy where you don't get that overflow damage. And it's like, like if Balance Strike is the damage that causes the death, you won't get the overkill uh, damage, and it, it just it makes it a lot more frustrating to use Aspen. So, so yeah, there's there's a lot of RNG with his AOE attack. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, his damage is also, it's only good against bosses, really. Um, he, yeah, he, he's good against bosses. That's about it. Like, he can only kill bosses really fast, and then he turns into basically just an average hero. <laughs> um, and you, you can see that if you check out some of the, the Void Boss 3 fights that people have done um, in their videos, it, you know, they're, they're barely getting the minions killed by, uh, by round 15. And, I mean, they, they do get it eventually, but they, like I said again, those, those guys all have Divine Power 11 heroes or Divine Power 12, Divine Power 10, like... They, they they outpower my mock man by a ton and i have killed this d difficulty 10 boss i just failed to kill one minion he had a sliver of health left so yeah you know but difficulty 9 i i basically beat the whole wave on round 4 and an aspen's not going to be doing that unless you are just like so 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 such a big whale that you know you can overpower it but by then, it doesn't really matter what the hell you're doing because you're just gonna win anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and I'm I'm ranked 20 on this leaderboard. Uh, some of the other bosses that I I have spots on the leaderboard. The first boss, everybody remembers how hard this one was. Um, whoops, I'm I got 17th on on this boss, and that's with just S tier Aspen and some B tier support heroes. Uh, uh, this one I got, let's see, I ranked 32. This one took a little longer because I was still trying to kill this first one. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm on the leaderboard for all those. Um, campaign leaderboard, I'm ranked 31, 744. This wave's going to be a pain in the butt. I'm probably going to need a temple upgrade or two to get through it. Um, and then, yeah, like, I'm... I'm also on the, the leaderboard for Tower of Oblivion. It's way down low. Or no, am I not on here? Oh, well, that's that's the wrong thing. That's the Tower of Dreams. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? And this is just... I'm just trying to prove just how good Mach Man is. Um, I know I'm on here somewhere. There I am. 56th. So, and that's just because I, I slacked on getting Betty. Betty is the reason people beat the Tower of Dreams Step 30 so fast. It's not, it's not because they ran Aspen or anything like that. It's because they had t uh, TBB. <laughs> I always want to say tuberculosis Betty. But, yeah, um, Betty is the reason Tower of Oblivion is such a joke. And uh, let's see, what other game modes are there? Um, Seal Land, Seal Land 35. I beat Seal Land 35 with Mockman the week it came out. It was like the week or the second week it came out. So, um, yeah, he's he's just so much better than Aspen in every way, in my opinion. Ex well, I guess except against except against only bosses, and even then, Mo my Mockman can do huge damage against the Star Expedition boss. He doesn't get into the E17 or anything, but, you know, I've done, like, four E16 against that boss, and, um, yeah, he, I, I'm pretty sure I can get a lot better than that, too. So, so yeah, um, I'm not, like, trying to brag or anything. I'm just trying to point out and prove that Mockman is so much more useful and an all-around better hero in every game mode out there except one and that's star expedition um he just 
he can just do everything. <laughs> I mean, it, and burst is almost always the best way to go about beating stuff. Um, even DTV. DTV runs into many problems in campaign. Way more problems than Machman does. And there's a lot less solutions that you can do for DTV than you can for Machman. Like, and DTV, a lot of times you need, you need to run sustain and really let those rounds go on. And that's not always easy to do. Um, that can be tough for a lot of players. But Machman, you, you know, you can set up stuff and burst down huge amounts of heroes round one. And it, it, there's just there's so many more um, possibilities, uh, gameplay possibilities, using Machman than there are using Aspen, DTV, or uh, like any of those other damage dealers that are super, super popular. So... So yeah, um, I mean, let me know if you disagree, but uh, those are my thoughts on Aspen and his current position in the meta, and yeah, I just think everybody overrates him a ton. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this one, got something out of it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.